Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video and welcome to November's wrap up. Now this is a big one. I, I haven't watched this many movies in a long time. We're talking about 11 movies you guys. So we're gonna get right into it. We're jumping right into things. We're starting off with Prime Video. This is the people we hate at weddings. This stars Allison Janney and Kristen Bell, uh, Ben Platt. So this is basically about this one American family who travels to England to go to the wedding of their half sister somebody who they really lost connection with because obviously they're on the other side of the pond and just because she is british they feel like she's very snooty and she is rich and they just don't know her it's not really much to this movie to be honest with you it's just like a pretty good time um it wasn't great it wasn't terrible right in the middle you guys we're gonna put it right in there into enjoyable if you are wanting one of the like family wedding drama comedy movies then this could be a nice little movie for you and then we're gonna go ahead and move on to disney plus this is the guardians of the galaxy the christmas special this is when mantis and and drax want to do something nice for peter because he's just like very sad and also like little sign note well not a sign note but let me just stop here real quick okay gamora i know technically peter's gamora died right okay but then like the past Gamora came and they're at the end of Endgame was like, oh, this is him. So I guess that Gamora didn't fancy him, right, yet? And she went on her way? Or is she still dead? I don't know, because he was lonely and sad. So I'm not, I'm, if y'all can clarify that for me, because I, I didn't understand that very well. Mantis Drax, they traveled to Earth to go get the best Christmas present for Quill. Something that he's always talked about. One Kevin Bacon, that is right, they go and kidnap. Kevin Bacon and Kevin Bacon actually comes out in the movie so that's fun and he's like ah but then like Mantis like you know does the Mantis things is like you're gonna come with me I definitely see like the Marvel fans the kids really enjoying this but this is like a Christmas special that I don't really care to rewatch it's not one that I would really really recommend unless you're like really into Marvel it was cute enough I didn't really care for it too much to be honest with you it was another one that was just enjoyable very close to being okay, to be honest with you. It's like at the end of enjoyable for me. Let me just stop real quick because my Coco, if you can hear her drinking her water. Um, if you hear something else, that's the little air guy from my little Jack. Yeah, I know I love me some Jack. We're going to go ahead and move on to Disenchanted. This is the sequel to Enchanted, which I love. Such memorable moments, has such singable songs. Out of nowhere, I'm like, oh. Or I'll just be like, a little working song. So this obviously follows, you know, their happily ever after, whatnot. They get married. They've, they've all grown their city life because she has a baby and everything. And, and then, um, is it Maddie? What is her name? I forgot her name, y'all. I feel like it starts with an M. Morgan. See, it started with an M. So Morgan is a teenager. So now she's all, like, rebellious and everything. It's just like, no, leave me alone. Anywho, magical things happen. She gets a magical gift from Prince Edward and Nancy because, you know, they're now in um, Andalasia. I forgot the name of the thing. And she wishes for, like, a storytell life. So the whole town just kind of erupts into this, like, magical storytelling deal with, like, an evil queen and an evil stepmother and everything. It had its cute moments, but the songs... I don't remember a single damn song. I never wanted to sing any of them. None of them ever, like, while they were singing, was I, like, trying to, like, catch on to the tune. I love me. I'm Amy Adams because she, oh, she's an amazing actress. Go from, like, this to, like, ooh, devious. And I love it. She does great as, like, a goody two-shoe and as a bad bitch. Love it. This movie, no. Um, this movie was a You Tried movie. We're gonna move on to Netflix, Enola Holmes 2. I do have a review for this. Of course, as always, whatever I did review within the month will be in the description down below. Enola Holmes 2, we are continuing to follow Enola Holmes as she's trying to become this great detective. Uh, we do see more of Sherlock, so one, one uh, Henry Cavill. Uh, it, it does have a lot going on within uh, the movie itself. It wasn't as like structured and like single note you know we have like Enola with her investigation then we have Henry Cavill with his investigation and yet they ultimately do kind of like mix in and of course we have that nice little uh young love story between uh Enola and the Duke I think what was that a Duke 
and it worked you already know that i'm not like a big huge just out of the blue love story like a uh, unnecessary love story but since this kind of blossom from from the first one and it wasn't just here it's a nice little adventure nice little mystery um it was cute i enjoyed it i enjoyed the ride i thought it was enjoyable i'm gonna put it over here on the, on the front end of enjoyable because it was my favorite one off of that one uh not quite great even though i'm not gonna lie it is on my top 20 my favorite movies of the year just because this year yeah i haven't even watched i mean pause right here i haven't even watched 100 movies this year. can't believe that i know right and then we're gonna move on to i don't know what the movie is called Christmas with you. <laughs> I forgot the name of the movie. Y'all, I am missing a movie on here. Wait. Did Spirited come out November or December? Hold on. I, we have a lot of pauses here today. As if this video is not going to be long enough. Let me, let me, let me check. Oh, it did come out in November, y'all. Lord, don't let me forget Spirited. We'll talk about it after this because I'm gonna forget it. Well, you know what? Let me let me talk about Spirited because I'm gonna forget. Spirited is on Apple TV. It stars Will Ferrell and uh, Ryan Reynolds and Octavia Spencer. And I did not know this was a musical, y'all. I sure didn't. Oh, I'm not gonna lie. I am not the biggest Will Ferrell fan. Um, I'm just not a Will Ferrell fan at all, you guys. Um, I only watch his movies when somebody else that I like is co-starring with him. So in this case, Ryan Reynolds and Octavia Spencer. And it seemed pretty cool. It has like the whole uh, like Christmas story, you know, like Scrooge kind of deal. Uh, Will Ferrell is the ghost of Christmas present. And basically, Ryan Reynolds is like the scrooge here i mean he's not scrooge but you know but he's like they're trying to better him and he's like unredeemable it was it was okay it was my favorite it was it was also an enjoyable damn we're gonna have a lot of enjoyable stuff here okay it was also an enjoyable movie y'all it was we're gonna we're gonna move on our christmas netflix this stars freddie prince jr uh like this video if you were a freddie prince jr like fan back in the day did i say our christmas this is christmas with you they're all mixing in there's too many christmas is movies with christmas and i'm not trying to do my christmas uh watches for my christmas video y'all how many times do i say christmas in this video let me know so christmas with you amy garcia also comes on this and um this is basically about amy garcia and her character she's like the pop singer who's like older who the label's kind of trying to like push off to the side they want her to come out with a christmas song and wait do they want her to come up with a christmas song or do they just want her to have a new song i think they wanted her to do a christmas song because you know like kind of when you're not doing the greatest it's like do a christmas song so she ends up seeing a video of freddie prince jr's daughter kind of like reaching out to her and says like I love you I you know she she did a cover she goes I just want her to to come and like I just want to take a photo with her and everything and she actually like goes to her school and takes photo and everything uh because she's just like in a block and she doesn't know like what's happening and ultimately ends up staying there at their house because they kind of get like not really slowed in but you know the roads are not safe and what's gonna happen of course there's gonna be a love connection it's cute it's Christmas it's cheesy I mean that's what all Christmas movies are you guys they're just a bunch of trees baldness and and family and love and miracles happening it's like the music well no because the other one was music too it's like another version of marry me the one with jennifer lopez and owen wilson that came out earlier in the year i didn't like marry me either well honestly i prefer this movie over that so th this one was just an okay movie it was just an okay christmas movie yes we're gonna keep moving on to lindsay lohan's christmas mo movie which i don't remember either Falling for Christmas. That's what that's calling Lindsay Lohan. Also, what? Lindsay Lohan is up in a movie again. I haven't seen her in a movie in a long ass time either. It was Netflix. I said, oh, you haven't been in something. You haven't been in something. Come on. We're we going to put you in something. And you know what some bad something's going to be? A Christmas movie. So last time I remember seeing Jen uh, Jennifer, uh, Lindsay Lohan was with her reality show when she was uh, opening up some sort of hotel or spa resort so being in Mykonos so she's like the heiress of this like hotel and then there's like this like down on their luck lodge at the bottom of it and they're like about to close like this is gonna be their last Christmas it's about to get married to this like social media 
influencer who's like Instagramming everything, gives her this big ass, like ridiculous ass ring. Like I would want a ring big, but not like like that. Like I'm blind, so I just want to be able to like future husband of mine, just like a little tip. I want to be able to like put my hand on like this, like straight for me, and then like be able to see my, my ring. Propose this at the top of the cliff. They both fall off, boom. And like she hits her head. Amnesia, girl, guy, person, viewer. That is right. This is a Christmas movie love story about a rich girl who hits her head, gets amnesia. Of course, she's gonna end up over here with the poor people and it's gonna learn some lessons and it's gonna become a better person and it's gonna be like, sorry, influencer boyfriend. I just don't love you like that guy that I just met while I had amnesia who I didn't even know who I was who I met like two days ago yeah I'm I love you and I want to marry you that's the type of movie this is okay um it was also just an okay Christmas movie all right so glass onion a knives out story I don't have my poster oh, yes it's down here oh you can see it love knives out one of my favorite movies of that year I think it was like 2019 loved it high hopes for this one I said oh yes stellar stellar cast Detective Blog is kind of going through depression phase. You know, he hasn't really had much work. You know, COVID, quarantine, not much killing, not much mystery apparently going around. So he's just like living in his bathtub, living his best life until he gets a, a what's it called? The name of Tony Show. She goes to this fancy little place. I am going to do a review. I say that, but watch me not even do a review. <laughs> no, because I'm saying that and I don't really want to talk about it too, too much. Like I do, but I don't. I don't want to do it in the review. Anywho, it's gonna come out on Netflix this month. Let me check for y'all. Oh, yeah, it ain't gonna come out until December 12th. Oh, yeah, it's almost there. It's almost there, yeah. We're gonna be there in no time. This could be like a Christmas movie that you watch. It's not a very Christmas movie, honestly. This could have been more like a summer movie, to be honest with you. I didn't feel it had the same magic as the first one did unfortunately um i was hoping it would i was like oh we're gonna have even like better magic but no kate hudson was probably like my favorite because she was like the wild child kind of deal like she I, I love her i mean it was still good it was still a good movie y'all it just wasn't as great as the original you don't even have to watch knives out to watch this one to be honest with you you really don't um they don't they don't like mixed in in any way it's just because we have detective blanc in it that's the only thing it's a whole other story but so moving on to a theatrical releases and we're gonna start off with black panther wakanda forever so of course the child does get a beautiful send-off here it was very heartbreaking um I, I didn't cry i was surprised um the movie was really good it was really entertaining still see myself gravitating more towards black panther over this one this one i just feel like they just had too much going on for it and i'm just like you need to chill i really like the villains in this story even though like were they really villains because they were just really trying to ultimately protect their home you know they were just trying to make sure that nobody was going to come after them aka the humans who are always trying to poke their nose where it doesn't belong uh, of course we also have like the repercussions uh, of what the child did while he was still alive and kind of opening up the resources and of course the human beings try to like take all the uh verbenium for themselves but we have the fish people i still don't know what they're called but Na namor i know i remember his name namor I think that's how you pronounce it. I really like them. They were really, really cool. I love the design. I love what they stood for. I love the representation that we're getting uh, within these movies ourselves as well. There was just like too much going on. The, the, the drama there with the UN and like the humans, whatever, trying to take over stuff and thinking that they're right. Oh, damn humans, get on my nerves. Um, and then we got Ironheart, which I, honestly the only reason that she's in there was because she's gonna it's kind of like her introduction to get her prepared for her uh series because there's gonna be an uh that's gonna be one of the phase five is that where we're at now phase four five yeah five um uh, like was this the end of phase four i think this was the end of phase four but honestly i'm like they could have just had a scientist like that would have been so much better versus this i didn't really care for her I, I have no plans on watching the series i don't watch all the series you guys it's just like too much y'all it was just too much and i was just like it was so long but it was still good it's like i kind of lost uh you know <sighs> i had issues with it it looked really really nice so 
and of course very sad moments very shocking moments very like moments <laughs> at the end of the day it was and then I know it's great it's a great movie so she said this is based off of a true story based off the New York Times article about the sexual abuse in the Hollywood industry with Harvey Weinstein it was a really really good movie not like really really good but it was like a good movie it was interesting it's not one I would fully recommend for you to watch in theaters I definitely feel like it's one that you can wait to just stream at home the starting of the me too movement so this kind of like spotlight but spotlight is way better if you guys haven't checked that one out you should definitely check that out um it's just about the uncovering about the catholic church and them molesting the, the kids oh it's really really good but again it's about the reporters and like their investigating skills and kind of like everything like uncovering all the stories i'm gonna say it was enjoyable i mean like not necessarily like an enjoyable it's very like here type of deal i don't think anything ever really like you know went out kind of crazy but I, I I enjoyed it enough um, and then we're going off with to the bone honestly I didn't even know nothing about this movie my sister's the one that told me like oh let's go see this movie and then I was like what is this about she goes you don't know I think it's about she goes dude like they're eating people I said what and I saw a trailer one trailer and the trailer was great like it was like back in the day trailer where they don't reveal much stuff you know how trailers are on day they give you like the whole damn movie in the trailer like this like literally like they didn't give you nothing okay just don't take the cannibalism to that that level of things okay because it actually is not a horror movie it is considered a drama romance y'all they just happen to eat people okay and it's really i guess like a coming of age story and a, a story of acceptance a story of finding love it's a really kind of a beautiful story I'm not gonna lie <laughs> and the way that it ends I was not seeing that coming either Mark Rylance also comes on it and he is a creepy mother okay um so this movie was pretty darn great as well last but not least we got to the menu wow 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 you guys it's another one that i didn't know anything about okay i it's another one i saw one trick I, I i think i said this before i'm only watching the trailer once just to kind of get a sense of it and um this one it's another one that really didn't give you much but this movie again it's another one that has a great cast we have anna taylor joy here we have ray five we have nicholas holt what i thought I'm not gonna tell you what I thought, cause you know you thought that too, and this is not what you think. Yeah, I just spit. Coronavirus. So basically, uh, Ray Fiennes, he's a chef. He's a very prestige chef. He's like the best of the best. It's a very prestige like invitation. Like not everybody gets invited to this to the Hawthorne, and everybody who was invited, they're all like uh, foodies and like. Um, what's it called critics food critics and just like fancy like rich people very exclusive so that's already going to be like oh yeah i'm gonna be there because it's exclusive i mean they still gotta pay for it right because it's like like a like eight course meal or whatever and it's like a four hour like you're gonna eat for four hours like these tiny little things and you're gonna pay a fortune for it but this is like a privilege like to be invited to be attending the Hawthorne and eating and being in the presence of the chef of this food, of these masterpieces, and you're just like, whoa, like just gonna be mind blown. And then, shit gets real. The food is like food freaking porn. It looks beautiful. I like how they do the presentations of the food. Oh, you guys, this movie was so good. It was funny, it has some funny moments to it, but it's like dramatic, it's like a little bit suspenseful. Let me just tell y'all this. I, I don't wanna spoil anything for y'all, okay? This this video is going on for like, whoosh. This is a great movie. This is a favorite of the year, y'all. These are the movies that I watch this month. Just one at the top, and everything else is kinda like there in the middle. Um, uh, let me know what you guys watch. Do you watch any of the same thing that I did? Do you agree? Do you disagree? If you disagree, that's totally fine. Just don't get ugly in the comments just let me know what you thought for the month of december i will be doing a christmas video it's just a ranking video and then we're coming towards the end of the year and it's time to stress because i've been procrastinating y'all 
and I still had quite a few movies that I needed to watch. Well, not really that I needed, because I was just like, whatever I watch, I watch, but then I noticed like how many movies I have seen, and I need like, I don't like 18 movies to hit 100 movies, so then I'm like, can I watch those movies? And also, let me go ahead and announce it here, because I totally forgot to announce it in my October deal. Um, starting January uh, 2023, of course, um, we're going to be changing these up a little bit. Instead of just talking about the new release movies, I think I'm going to be doing like my letterbox uh, rankings. Just everything that I watch within the same month. Um, most of the time, it's probably still going to be movie that just came out that month but other times you know I do still watch other things and I think it would be fun because you know what that's those are still other recommendations of maybe other movies you've never seen before so that's just a change um we're gonna see how that goes it uh, we'll see if it continues on or if you want to do it for a couple months y'all let me know what y'all think about that that's it for me tonight of course if you haven't already don't forget to give this video a like subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified each other to post something new. And until next time, I'll see you guys at concessions.